Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCB Arrow Labs. For more information, you can log on to www.jcbarrowlabs.org. In this video, we will learn how to access database and how to read and uh, perform write operation from database. Obviously, Microsoft Access database from MATLAB. Uh, we can also access SQL based database from and Oracle based database from MATLAB but uh, for this particular tutorial video we will be using Microsoft Access uh, database from MATLAB. So open MATLAB and before opening MATLAB let's uh, look at the database which uh, we have created already. So we have our database file name by Sachin and we have a table named JCBRO Labs and this table has these entries ID. 2345 first name and last name and what work they are doing so first name are jcbro research research okay found it could be anything based on your work and let's close it now open matlab in matlab first we need to connect this database to the uh, windows operating system data service uh, network and for doing that we'll type de explore de explore and cancel it from here go to new and create odbc object data source from here let's delete the previous one and select this ms access database and click add from here you need to select the driver so select the driver this this one microsoft access driver dot uh, mdb and dot acdb and then finish it and now uh, we need to provide a data source name let's say it is test and description and this one we will uh, provide the same database name uh, by which we have created our file so its name is sachin so let's create it such in and then we have to find the file for that so it is on desktop so we'll go to desktop this file will be here and then okay and simply okay and then okay now we have connected our database to the windows uh, connection now we will connect to our database from this command will test whether MATLAB is able to read that database or not so connect and select file from here that is test and then connect and you will get this particular values all uh, this particular JCPR tables was there and if you click this all so all the entries uh, which are currently there in JCPR labs will be displayed here so now uh, we will learn how to access individual entry uh, from command line because we can do from here like if we select first name first name will be displayed if we select last name last name will be selected but in our programming we need to do all these things from this command line so first we need to create a database connection and that can be done by conn and then the command database and the data source name remember we have provided the data source name as test this one so we'll put test there so currently there's uh, no values in it it is incorrect so let's say we need to provide the username and the password and do admin and admin so if a database connection is being established this auto commit uh, will be there on and the file instance name will be test and username is admin so everything is fine and that's, yes. now we need to read the particular database uh, entries or any table or any column from the table so that is a kind of query which we are putting to the database so we need to define a query like query is um, like read table name or select 
like there was uh, a entry like uh, we need to select the last name or the work let's say work uh, we want to read the data so select the tab uh, column name which we want to read from the table name and the table name is this jcbro labs let's have a look whether we are right uh, yes it's table name and then we need to create a cursor object and it can be created by ex execute command so it will give connection on which we want to execute this query and then the query which we want to perform on this particular connection so and then we will fetch everything from this cursor object now let's have a look on this cursor object so now it contains the data it contains several fields and out of which the data fields contain the data which is being read uh, which has been read from the database so if we want to go for the data we just need to write curse because this was the object comma data and these was the values uh, which were residing there so it's very easy and only things is required to connect the database to the MATLAB suppose we want to read something uh, something else like let's say instead of read say we want to read our first name and then we need to write curse And then simply so these were the last name uh, first name from the database whose column name was the first let's try uh, whether we can read uh, all data uh, at once uh, from this one so let's say query and this one let's say So all the data will be uh, written from uh, the that particular table. So for reading all the data, we just need to put the asterisk sign there, and all the data will be there in answer command. Uh, and it is in cell format, so we can extract individual data uh, from the answer, like from answer one to and comma one. So this is row number and the column 2, 3, 4, 5 has been read and these are in uh, numeric values. And suppose we want to read the second column in the character, okay, the answer object has been changed. So the same thing we can do uh, for, uh, we need to run the last command and now all things will be there and its uh, type is character type. So we can use this data and use for other purpose depending on our application. So I hope you have understand from this video like uh, how to read your database, uh, particular this Microsoft Access based database using MATLAB. And for writing operation into this database, we will uh, be learning in the next upcoming videos. So that's it for this video. Thank you.